for the 130th time, the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club opens its gates for the most prestigious tennis tournament in the world. The game's best players battling it out to write their name in the history books. Novak Djokovic enters Wimbledon as the firm favourite. An historic win at Roland Garros saw the Serb secure a career Grand Slam. Holder of all four, can Djokovic overcome Brit James Ward in his first encounter as he aims to be victorious at SW19 for the fourth time. In the ladies' draw, Serena Williams returns to defend the Venus Rosewater dish, but unlike Djokovic, fell at the final hurdle in Paris. A six-time winner here, the world number one has come unstuck in both the Australian Open and Roland Garros. Serena's conqueror in the French capital was Garbinia Mukarutha. The 22-year-old Spaniard has made a meteoric rise since losing to Williams in last year's final. Now ranked second in the world, are the two on a collision course once again. After defeat in last year's final, Roger Federer has had a year plagued by injury. The 34-year-old has played fewer events this year than anyone else on the men's tour, with signs that dreams of an 18th Grand Slam title may be over. But has he kept himself fresh for one last shot at glory on his most successful hunting ground? Argentinian Guido Pella is first up in his sights. The weight of the nation will once again be on the shoulders of Andy Murray as he faces fellow Brit Liam Brodie. The Scot has won the heart of the British public, winning Olympic gold on centre in 2012 and his historic triumph in 2013. He's reached the final at both of this year's Grand Slams, losing to Djokovic in both. Were they to meet in the final here, could he repeat that 2013 win over his nemesis? Since her loss to Serena in the 2012 final, Agnieszka Radvanska has been a regular here in the second week, reaching three semi-finals in that period. The Pole is one of the most consistent players on the women's tour and will be desperate to go that extra mile and win her first Grand Slam title. Stan Wawrinka is now a regular at the top of the men's game. The world number five has two Grand Slam titles to his name but he has struggled at the All England Club, with two quarter-finals his best showing. Can he finally master the grass courts and add a third slam to his collection? He's up against USA's Taylor Fritz. Having won her first Grand Slam at the Australian Open in January, world number four Angelique Kerber will hope to better her semi-final appearance here in 2012. The German will first need to overcome Britain's Laura Robson in the first round if she is to progress. The rest of the men's draw welcomes the usual contenders. 2010 finalist Thomas Burdich is always a danger, while Milos Rajanic may go a long way with four-time winner John McEnroe recently added to his team. 22-year-old Austrian Dominic Thame, who shot to seven in the world following his semi-final defeat to Djokovic at Roland Garros, will be one to watch. World number five, Simona Halep, will look to go one better than her semi-final appearance in 2014. Whoever is crowned champions, it promises to be another special fortnight at SW19. A captivating spectacle for the fans and a momentous occasion for the players. Wimbledon 2016 is finally upon us.